Try it again. Hi, everybody. Uh, welcome to our webinar on the Fire Arrow Rockets. Uh, Vicki, do we have everybody signed onto the computer and uh, on the phone? Everybody's here. Okay, great. Uh, at any time during the presentation, if you have any questions, you can text those into Vicki, and she'll, uh, she'll share those with everybody at certain stopping points along the way. So uh, just send in those questions if you have them. I just want to go over our agenda briefly. Uh, what we're going to do today is uh, have a, a quick introduction about what you get in your kit. Uh, we'll go over safety. We always want to keep safety out in front when we're working in the lab. I'm going to do a, a quick start for you. I want to show you just how easy it is to make and launch these rockets because that's the real fun part of this activity. And I just want to get you comfortable with that. After that, we'll go into uh, Newton's laws of motion and how they can be applied and, and learned with the Fire Arrows Rockets kit. And then we'll talk about how you set up your rocket competition uh, through the whole uh, program that is, is in, the, in the kit. All right, so for our introduction, I just want to go over what is in the, uh, the rocket kit when you get it. The, uh, the first thing you'll have is 100 straws. These are large plastic straws. You'll have 100 of these. This is to make the body of your rocket. You'll have a styrofoam block and a cork bore. This is what you'll use to make the nose cones of your rocket. You'll have a packet of index cards. Each student will get one index card to make their wings for the rocket. You'll have a sheet of sandpaper. This can be cut up into smaller pieces so they can shape their nose cones. You'll have the launcher and an air pump. This is what we'll be using to launch our rockets. And lastly, you'll have your teacher's guide and then your student handouts are always also in here. You can make copies of the student handouts. The things that are not included in your kit that you will need are a pair of scissors for each student or group of students and some tape. Uh, your transparent adhesive tape works the best, but you could use masking tape if that's what you have. And again, if you have any questions during the presentation, you can just text those into Vicki. All right, let's just talk quickly about safety. Uh, there's really only a few things to think about here. Uh, of course, if you're using scissors, uh, you know, a blunt tip scissor is the best, depending on the grade level. The, uh, the cork bore is sharp. Again, for younger students, you might want to do this as part of the pre-lab prep and punch out the nose cones yourself. Uh, with older students, it's fine, but that is, that is sharp. And lastly, uh, of course, we are shooting projectiles in this activity, so you might want to have uh, safety glasses um, before and make sure nobody's walking in front of the uh, launcher while the rockets are launching. All right, I want to just do a, a little quick start demonstration for you here so you can see how easy it is to make the rockets. The first thing you're going to want to do, like I said, is, is cut out a nose cone from the styrofoam block with the cork bore. Once you've done that, you might need to sand it down a little bit to get it to fit into the tube of the rocket. Um, once, the, once the nose cone is in the rocket, you can shape it to any shape you want. If you want to leave it blunt like that, you can. If you want to have like a bullet shape, you can. If uh, you want to have it a, a real point uh, and talk about aerodynamics, you can do that also. What I like to do is put a piece of tape on the nose cone that you just wrap around just to make sure that doesn't come off when you launch it. Next, your students will be making their wings. They can make their wings any way they want. I, I wouldn't necessarily tell them how to make their wings. Let them uh, try it out and explore and see what works best for them. But any shape wing that they want, they can make. Just cut them out. The, the one rule is they only get one index card. Then all they need to do is affix their wings to their rocket body. And they're ready to test launch. Now I did that really quickly. You'll obviously want to go into more details, but I just wanted to show you how easy that is to be. How easy that is to do. So they put them on their rocket. You want to make sure you leave this open. A lot of people will try to block that off with their wings. You put that on, and then just by pushing down on the pump, you launch your rocket. Uh, that's really how easy it is. I just, I, again, just wanted to show you that quick start. Uh, does anybody have any questions about the, uh, the quick start uh, method I showed? Uh, yeah, Tim. Bill in Wyoming wants to know, when he punches out the nose cone, it's a mess. How does he get it to have a nice shape? 
Great question, Bill. Thanks a lot. Um, yes, I probably misspoke. You're not actually punching out the nose cone. You're actually cutting out the nose cone. Um, take your cork bore and just apply pressure. And as you're pushing down just with light pressure, you twist the cork bore. And that cuts out the nose cone. It doesn't punch it out. Then all you need to do is take a pencil and push the nose cone out. And then you'll have a nice clean nose cone. If you try to punch it out, it'll just tear right through it. And it is kind of a mess. You'll have a lot more work to do. Great question. Any other questions? Yeah, Nancy in Vermont wants to know if there's a trick to getting the wings on straight. Oh, another great question. Again, what I like to do, I, I should have explained it in my quick start there, is when I put the tape on the wings, I put the tape so half of the width of the tape is on the wing, and then you have the other half to affix it to your rocket tube. Then you can put more tape on the other side, but that allows you to adjust it to make sure it's on good and straight. Great question. Any other questions, Vicki? Nope, that's it so far, Tim. Okay, great. Let's, uh, let's move ahead and start talking about Newton's Laws of Motion and how we can use the Fire Air Rockets Kit to talk about Newton's Laws.